Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. I am Professor Bijan Berenji and this is the first lecture video on Physics 2100 for Fall 2016. Overview of mechanics. This course is on mechanics and thermodynamics. In the mechanics portion of this course, we will explore physics from a calculus-based point of view. We'll explore units, vectors, kinematics, force laws, work and energy, momentum, angular momentum, rotational motion, and equilibrium. We should be comfortable using derivatives. The, si the assignments will tend to emphasize problem solving. Although the theories of physics are expressed mathematically, physics is an experimental science. Newton was one of the first true physicists. Newton's ideas about forces, for example, were verified experimentally. Einstein's theory of relativ relativity, no matter how sophisticated it was put to the experimental test, passed spectacularly. One of the first things one encounters in physics is writing physical quantities which are large and which are small. Another thing is understanding the system of measurement which is widely used in physics. Also a basic understanding of the essential mathematical tools which we will use in this course. In scientific notation, a number between 1 and 10 is raised to an exponent. This provides a compact way of dealing with large or small numbers and simplify the calculation of operations such as adding or multiplying. Scientific notation. So the first thing we're going to understand is putting a number in scientific notation. For example, example 1.1, 0 0.063 can be expressed in scientific notation as 6.3 times 10 to the minus 2. The number says 149,000 can be expressed as 1.49 times 10 to the 5th. Second, we can add numbers in scientific notation as follows. Five point four times ten to the fifth plus three point two times ten to the fourth can be expressed as five point four times ten to the fifth plus point three two times ten to the fifth, which is equal to five point seven two times ten to the fifth. Third point is that we can multiply numbers in scientific notation as well. For 
Example 3.1, 3.2 times 10 to the 6 times 9.1 times 10 to the minus 4 equals 3.2 times 9.1 times 10 to the 6 minus 4 is so equal to 29.12 times 10 to the 2 which is 2.912 times 10 to the 3rd. SI units. The system international in system of units is primarily used in physics, in addition to most branches of science. In this system of units, the unit of length is a meter, the unit of mass is a kilogram, the unit of time is a second. The system using these units is called MKS. These are the base units. Other units may be derived from these units. Speed can be expressed in units of length per time, as in meters per second. SI prefixes. You may be familiar with units such as centimeters, millimeters, as you know of length, such as with measuring with meter stick. We use milli in front of any SI unit, such as millisecond or milligram. The list of SI prefixes uses in Table 1. So we see milli, we m, which is 10 to the minus 3, micro, which is 10 to the 6, kilo is 10 to the 3rd. Unit conversions. Example, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, approximately. What is the speed in A, centimeters per second, and B, kilometers per hour? A, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second times 100 centimeters per meter equals 3 times 10 to the 10th centimeters per second. B, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second times 1 kilo kilometer over 1,000 Dimensional analysis. Most commonly in physics 2100, the units of the various quantities may depend on the combinations of mass, length, and time. For example, a speed, which is the time rate of change of distance, may be expressed as Lt to the minus 1. The units of volume may be expressed as L cubed. Density may be expressed as mass per volume, or ML minus 3. Vectors. Vectors are objects with magnitude and direction. An example of a vector in two dimensions is a equals 3 comma 4. This can be expressed as a equals 3 i hat plus 4 j hat. i hat and j hat are the unit vectors in the x and y directions respectively. We say that ax equals 3 and ay equals 4. The magnitude of this vector is 5. The ang angle that the vector a makes with the x-axis is given by arc tangent 4 for 3 equals 53 degrees. Operations on vectors continued. We can take the dot product of two vectors which will be given as a dot b equals ax bx plus ay by. In the three-dimensional case, a dot b will be given by ax bx plus ay by plus az bz. The magnitude of a dot b is given by ab cosine theta, where theta is the angle between the vectors. Cross product of two vectors. For two vectors a and b, the cross product is bx ay minus ax by k hat, where k hat is the unit vector in the z direction. Notice that if a and b lie in the xy plane, then the cross product will point in the z direction. Operations on vectors continue. We may consider the three-dimensional case of the cross product. A cross B has I hat, J hat, and K hat components. We may simplify remembering this formula if we consider determinants. We can subdivide the determinant into two, sum of three two-by-two two determinants. Graphical operations with vectors. In coordinate space, adding vectors is done according to the head-to-tail method. Vector addition is demonstrated in Figure 1. We have a vector A, which is blue, and vector B, which is green. So we put the head of vector B at the tail of vector A, and we graphically add to get the red vector. 
Uncertainty. Every quantity that is measured or derived from measured quantities has associated uncertainty. For example, if the car speed is measured to be 101.5 kilometers per hour, we cannot write it as 101.5000000 kilometers per hour. The uncertainty in the measurement is 0.1 kilometer per hour. Thus, the number of significant figures is 4 for this speed. Measurement can be precise, that is, if a, if a set of measurements is relatively close to each other. A set of measurements can be accurate if they are close to the true value of the quantity. For example, consider if the true value of a quantity is 50 grams. If a measurement is made of 49.8 plus or minus 2 grams, the measurement is accurate but not precise because it has a large uncertainty. If a measurement is, is uh, can be accurate, Differential Calculus Review Take the derivative of each of the following functions and evaluate the derivative at t equals 2. Uh, example 1, f of t equals 3t. Solution is f prime of t equals 3 and f prime of 0 equals 3. Two. Take the derivative of g of t equals 2t squared minus 4t. Solution is given by g prime of t equals 4 t minus 4, g prime of 0 equals to 4. Calculus examples. In figure 2, on what interval is the derivative a positive, b negative, c zero? What is the value of the derivative on the interval 0 through x through 2, x between 2 and 4, and x between 4 and 6? For a continuous function, the derivative at a given point is the limiting value of the slope of the secant line. For a function with a constant slope in a region, the derivative is simply the slope. The function is a straight line, i.e. has a constant value, the slope is zero.